So I thought I'd do a quick video. I think I might have finally found my lighting combination outside of projectors. Excuse the camera, I'm walking in a snowbank. But uh, fortunately there was some uh, unforeseen and really unwanted uh, frustrations during the process. But just the, well let me do the wide camera. Just the result alone was worth it. I mean, I am very happy with the way it turned out. And yeah, there's a lot of glare off these puppies, but I tell you what, boy, I can see. I can see just fine. I know the light does kind of bleed through the, the edges a little bit right here, uh, but uh, I haven't wired up the U-bars yet. These are the Anzo U-bar lights. And the bulbs are the GTR2 from Headlight Revolution. They're pretty much the best of the best bulbs according to them. These I got from Diesel LED. They're the 3157 bulbs. Those are freaking bright. Uh, I did have a problem uh, when I was putting my factory style lights in here. <clears throat> I had to unplug that for some reason, that one. Oh, because I had to do the headlight, the whole header panel behind it and when I just disconnected that light from the socket one of the prongs for the light busted off and well that just screams how chinese -y crap they might be but for now they're you know they, they advertise them as reverse lights but I've had them going for uh, two three weeks like that so far and they're just brighter than frick um, the LEDs for the fog lights would be brighter those are over two years old I don't know if you can see it but Literally one side of the LED is lit at that point. It's burning out. Uh, pretty much the same for this side. That one, oh, so I don't know if you saw it. Oh, there it goes, yep, on and off. But they're still pretty freaking bright, don't get me wrong. It's just, those are going on two years old. Those were, those came from Headlight Revolution. I couldn't tell you what they are because I don't think they sell them anymore, but uh, they they were about the only bulb that would fit in the Silverado headlights without any modification. And let me tell you, there is some modification involved in getting these light bulbs in here. This was not an easy task. This actually resulted in me going to Home Depot last night all the way in uh, Brooklyn Park. <gasps> There's low beam. There's high beam. Doesn't look like much, I guess, but uh, there is a difference. And uh, it is a pretty positive difference. So, uh, not bad, not bad at all. And I mean, driving down these white snowy roads, oh man, I love it. It's just so incredibly bright. But uh, like I was saying, I went all the way to Brooklyn Park because Home Depot had a sale on pole sockets. Now it was a kind of a ridiculous sale for some reason. This is their 17 piece kit and I and it looks like I'm missing one. I am actually. Uh, but all 17 pieces are here. They just use the same case for all their kit sizes just about. Um, they had a 13 piece, a 9 piece. The 13 piece was not on sale. The 9 piece was on sale. And the, the 17 piece here was on sale. This was 39 something or 38 something, which is a screaming deal for whole sock yet, especially 17 pieces. Uh, they originally wanted $85 for this sucker, and uh, they had a pretty much 50% off. And the same with the nine piece. They wanted the same price, exact same price for nine pieces of the same brand. Well, what sense does that make, really? And uh, so, here we are, um, the uh, 13 piece was not on sale, and they wanted, uh, or maybe this was $79.99, okay, uh, the 13 piece was $85, not on sale. Tell me what sense that makes. And Brooklyn Park was the closest Home Depot that had this sucker in stock. I was like, I need hole saws, you know, how many times have I done projects and I don't have a hole saw? I need one. I've got one now. So that's freaking decent. Works great. 
And I really wish this came up on camera like it does in real life. Um, but that L, uh, the backlit on that, the DIC, it just looks beautiful in person. I mean, it is so crystal clear and bright. Whereas, apparently, these aftermarket ones, they uh, make it more translucent for the light to come through compared to the OEM. So it comes through much brighter and crisper and cleaner. It is so wonderful. I can't speak enough about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can see the camera is kind of exaggerating my... Um, uh, dull spots in the LEDs. It's actually showing you right where the LEDs are at, which is kind of nuts because you can't hardly tell in person. I shouldn't say hardly tell. You can tell there's brightness differences like at the 0 and 120 and stuff, but it's not that bad, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to have to live with it pretty much. But uh, heater control is done, and then I added lights over here. Um, and unfortunately, the little rubber booty the blue rubber booty that you put they put over the factory bulbs would not fit over this massive five millimeter LED in here, unfortunately. And this is all custom. Um, the he quit selling the uh, the bulbs with the long feet for instances like this with the uh, uh, where the circuit board is a long ways away from the this the the face, I guess. And so I used wire and I extended the bulb out and ran wire for these ones. And I mean, I like that. I mean, you know, you're looking at my driving view and you can see them right from there. So that's nice. Unfortunately, I wish those ones came through, you know, a little more visible. You know, it was easier to see or something. But uh, these are all the same color pretty much. Uh, for some reason, these ones are a little more dim already. But uh, window switch is going strong, so that's good. But uh, that's about the extent of it. I just figured I'd show you guys. I mean, I paid a freaking fortune for lights. And I can tell you, I'm not disappointed. Um, I was actually giggling like a little schoolgirl most of the way into town. Um, I like to get these little frozen Cokes from Burger King. So uh, that's just kind of my little guilty pleasure when nighttime falls. But uh, anyway... So, I should do a LED swap up there with the white LEDs, eh? And see if we can get that match, and I doubt it. But, you know, anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Now, I scored a pretty good deal on the headlight housings. It was an open box, apparently. And they are in beautiful condition. Not one thing wrong with them that I can tell yet. I have not tried the U-bars out yet. Um, I have to replace the headlight, the header panel again on the driver's side, and I have to replace that lower turn signal housing. I ordered them, they're on their way. Cheap, cheap, cheap parts. Let me tell you, it was like eight something for the parking light, and it was eight something for the header panel. Then shipping came along because they're coming from different warehouses, and it was eleven dollars for one shipping, and it was uh, what nine bucks for the other shipping. I was like, you gotta be kidding. And I, I tried swapping other parts out. Uh, the same parts but different you know manufacturers and all that stuff and you no know, they came from different warehouses either way so there was no way around the shipping i originally ordered these uh turn signal housings on ebay with 20 bucks a piece i thought well it's a pretty good brand you know uh pretty good price yeah i guess you know but they're tyc brand you can get them right on rock auto for half the cost minus shipping but it's still cheaper <laughs> so handy dandy manny and uh but uh so those are on their way uh what happened is i went to push the turn signal to click in and it clicked in too far i've never had that happen before and if you know these trucks there's a little push tab to release the parking light well that push tab went all the way in past where it was supposed to and the only way to get it out was either breaking the turn signal or breaking the header panel. And it seemed like the header, or the turn signal was breaking first. And then when it finally gave, it took a chunk of my brand new header panel out. I was like, you son of a freaking cow, what the hell? Oh, I was just pissed, let me tell you. So, 
I got to do that all over again, but $9 worth of plastic, what can you do? So, only casualty, not bad. I already spoke with Diesel LED, and they are sending me a new 3157 already, so that is nice. Hassle-free, I just sent them a picture and an email, said, hey, having a problem, no problem, we got you. So, sweet on that. Those are nice and bright. I also have those as my reverse lights on the truck. Um, I guess I could show you guys that just for giggles now that I've got them working I'll, again the, the one on the driver's side had come unplugged for some reason unlock the truck Kablam. I tell you just these lights alone will light the neighborhood up let's see if I can get the view behind the mirror or something I mean it doesn't Camera obviously doesn't do justice. I can see well past the end of the driveway with these lights. That is just insane. <laughs> with just my reverse lights. And the light bar is insanely bright as well. I love it. I absolutely love that. If you guys want to increase your safety, uh, the functionality and the, the form of your truck, it's got form, function, safety, and hopefully reliability with that sucker because it was expensive. But... Uh, um, let me tell you, uh, well worth the money. Um, I did see these style LEDs from like the ones diesel LED sells on Amazon for like 35 bucks. I was half tempted to give them a shot and put them in my LB7 uh, and see if they had just as much reliability because to be honest, they are kind of cheap when you hold them in your hand, the feeling, and they wanted like 90 some dollars a set. I was like, Pfft. I don't think so, but they had a halfway decent Black Friday sale, so I picked them up two sets. I don't remember how much, but I, I can tell you the light output, fantastic. I love it. I don't want to be outside too long because we got coyotes out here somewhere. But uh, let me tell you, you would unlock your truck and it blinds just everybody. <laughs> you know, the parking lot or something, you know, and it lights the front end up pretty dang good if it the left one was going too but i tell you it's just nothing like being able to see out in the middle of the woods just by unlocking your truck <laughs> and we'll give a headlight start up here blam i love the instant on instant off that is just freaking awesome on 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 <laughs> i can be easily amused sometimes but i tell you well worth the money the bulbs, I got a good deal on the housings, so when I get my new header panel, I'll wire up the U-bars, because I think they're keepers. So, uh, I mean, freaking right, it's just that insane brightness level, freaking right. So, alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, well, I gave you, told you all the places I bought stuff from, uh, housing off eBay, so uh, keep an eye out. You gotta, I tried searching for Anzo U-bar on eBay and they didn't pull up. I found them in a Google search somehow. I'm sure as heck glad I did. So, alrighty guys, thanks for watching. God bless.